Group, not just your local dealership, but the motoring team dedicated to your vehicle needs. Whether you are looking to buy a new or used car online or in one of our many dealerships, our trained staff will be there to guide you. With our state-of-the-art service centers, products and parts, we guarantee peace of mind. The CMH Group isn't just the first choice, we are the only choice. Visit your local CMH Group dealers today. This no gi match has been the talk of the town since it was first announced. Two immensely talented young grapplers will look to prove they are the best. From the blue corner, making his long-awaited return, representing Constrictor Jiu-Jitsu, please welcome Nico Brits. His opponent returns after an emphatic display in the middleweight eight-man. From the orange corner, representing Henzo Gracie, Cape Town, please welcome Connor Benthian. Your referee, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Nordier. Been looking forward to um, the two up-and-coming blue belts on the scene. Yeah, I'm, I'm massively excited on this matchup. It's quite funny, like when you when I put it on the card, it was like third on the third on the fight, just because it's two two blue belts, you know, young guys. And I was like, no, we can't put this, we can't put this uh, early on. Oh, a little return, heavy-handed on the collar ties. We're gonna yeah. get a bit of combat. There's here. already some bad blood, yeah. Oh, quick back take. Nico, Nico needs to hip out a little bit just to drop uh, Connor into that pocket. But the, oh, onto the twister. He's already working. He needs to clear the arm and get around the neck. Now Nico's going to pull the arm around the back and enter onto the neck. But the problem now is Connor's hips turned a little bit too much. So he probably needs to go for a triple threat where he either threatens the uh, biceps, the calf slicer or the banana split and then re-enter. But now Connor's going to come on top. Got a bit uh, insistent on that, yeah. On he that uh, <laughs> twister there, and now he's giving up now the he's on the bottom. Yeah. Connor more known as a bit of a guard player, so we just need to see how he operates from the top. Yeah. Nico's strength and tenacity is also very difficult to deal yeah. with. Good take nice little inside leg trip there, but kind of playing into Connor's game plan, yeah, you know. Yeah. Or his suspected game plan, should I say? <laughs> Connor's got a nasty triangle. Um, and I'm sure he's got a nice armbar to go with it as well. Starting to work with that. He wants to find that top lock position from the guard. Yeah. And this is kind of where you don't really want to be with Connor. No, because that triangle comes yeah. quick. Those legs are so long. Oh, onto the arm. The arm. Oh! oh, he's ready to rotate to the thumb and going to get past the legs. See, Nick, Nico needed to push hard to get past the legs and get the guard pass because now he's still back in trouble. This is Connor's world here. Yeah. So Connor's using the shoulder guard there. It's almost like a triangle with the arm in. So you can climb the guard and get onto the arm and then get the extension. So Nico can't let that arm extend out because, oh, oh tap. I am so impressed with this kid, man. I can't say enough good things about him. That was strong, aggressive jiu-jitsu. And that's a, a massive, massive win in terms of these two guys' prospects. Um, yeah, geez. These guys aren't even letting us get going yet. No, no, we haven't even, what are we, another three minutes here. Okay, let's shoot it up to the replay and have a look at how that unfolded. We saw Connor working his guard as soon as he found that position. Quick, quick tap. It was on and it was on quickly. Yeah, he uses that, that, uh, that almost like that shoulder guard slash triangle guard to climb up to get high onto the, onto the body and then obviously enter onto the arm. That is Conor Benthine's world. Once you're in his guard, good luck to you. Beautiful fight. Conor, you must be absolutely thrilled with that. Uh, it must be nice to get the W. Uh, it's not the game plan I wanted to play, I'm going to be honest. Nico's a lot tougher on the feet than I thought he would be. Um, but yeah, always happy to get the win. I mean, on to the next one, really. That's, that's it. 
tell me in terms of the the hype that's been around this fight was there added pressure going into this one because everyone was talking about it well i want to say um a big thank you to nico having his name in front of me the last few months really really made me push myself with training uh i mean i already spent endless hours in the gym and having a uh what I know is a studied competitor in front of me. Really made me have to push myself the last couple of months. Connor, congratulations. Great to see you in action. Can't wait to see you again. Well done. The Blue Line is a cut above the rest and is your leader in sourcing, branding, and media solutions. From branding of events, corporate gifting, content solutions, to professional event management. The Blue Line is your only turnkey solution provider. For more information, visit thebluelineinc.com.